First, tracking the virus in Salt Lake County, leaders have new data at their fingertips to try to slow the virus. The specialist Mike Anderson is live with that. Mike, every bit of information helps. Yeah, we're talking about uh, six months of data, something we didn't have back in March when this thing was first getting to us. Salt Lake County is now using that uh, data to make important decisions and hopefully prevent possible outbreaks. If you could keep one workplace safer, make sure there's one less outbreak, it could help keep the overall case count down. Obviously can't, can't identify who's going to have an outbreak uh, first. But Gary Edwards, executive director of the Salt Lake County Health Department, says they can now take a look at which industries are getting hit the hardest. Food service, manufacturing, construction, and long-term care are at the top of the list. And we work to come up with solutions to address that. And special liaisons go to those workplaces to help them better prepare and identify problem areas to protect employees and customers. That they're doing things that, that really make sense, um, many times going beyond what those phase guidelines say. Um, to help them be as safe as they can. The county health department has also taken a close look at masks, watching grocery stores and other businesses to see how much they're used across the Wasatch Front. Mayor Jenny Wilson says they can now say with more confidence that they're working. It's, it's actually given me um, what I needed to check my own gut, um, which is, look, we have to be aggressive on the health side for the benefit of health in the community and the economy. Providing further support for the county-wide mask mandate. Edwards says there's an overall 90% or higher compliance rate and that case numbers dipped about 14 days after the mandate was put into effect. And that mandate, by the way, now recently uh, extended into the end of the year. All this data we're talking about, by the way, is available on the county, Salt Lake County Health Department's website. We'll post a link on KSLTV.com. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you.